What's up, crypto kids, blockchain, profit seekers, my phantom freaks. How y'all doing today? Coming at you with another episode of Earning on Phantom. For today, we're just going to be going over the Ooze Finance Light Paper. As a quick reference for anyone who wants to like come back, check it out, and just have a simple, no-hype reference of this light paper and what it's all about. Really quick... If you choose to join my team, I'm giving max benefits out to everyone. But any team you choose to join, you're going to be doing just fine. I will be giving 75% direct kickback to everybody and doing airdrops on top of that. Pretty much just giving it all away so that I can get, you know, build a team. That's what I'm looking to do. And, uh because uh, <laughs> that's what I'm into. So, who's finance? Sustainable NFT passive income on the Phantom Network, making DeFi fun again. You sit in your office in front of your computer, cursor blinking, and stare out the window. The pastrami sandwich you bought for lunch from the corner deli was $15 today. Inflation, apparently. And the boss just told you, no raises for this year. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot something. Out of place, a dark, robed figure approaches the manhole cover in the middle of the street, pries it open with some kind of long knife, and climbs down. Just before he vanishes, he turns and unmistakably meets your gaze. He beckons. You swear his eyes glow green before he vanishes into the manhole. Deep in the sewers under your city with the expensive sandwiches and unending day jobs, the tired and downtrodden have found ooze, a mysterious replenishing substance that with transformative power and the foundation of an entire new economy. Ooze is a deflationary, sustainable, and even transferable investment with a consistent, compoundable, and even upgradable daily 1% return. Around it are two boring factions, the Order of Slime and the Biopunks, each seeking to control this new resource for their own gain. Now that you've looked down the manhole, now that you've locked eyes with the monk, with the monk, now that you've seen Ooze, you think you can turn back? Ooze is a token on the Phantom Network. It is directly tradable with USDC on the internal DEX. DEX is an exchange, decentralized exchange, on the Ooze website. Ooze can be sacrificed into the sewer contract to earn a base 1% daily on your investment. This daily 1% can then be compounded and more earned through, re through referral rewards. To grow your deposit amount up to the base of 8x your investment, withdrawable up to 365% of your deposit amount. The transactions on the Ooze token have a 10% tax with each exception of buying Ooze through the Ooze Finance website. See table below for full description of taxes on the Ooze token and where they go. Because all that is very important. There is a total supply of 1 million Ooze tokens. The perfect amount. While additional tokens can be minted if necessary by the contracts, this is unlikely. Daily rewards are paid out from Ooze contract balance, which is sustained through taxes and a dwindling circulating supply of tokens based on Ooze tokens being locked in the sewer contract. Very interesting. Pause it into the sewer, 10% tax, claim from the sewer, 10% tax, compound in the sewer, 10% tax. If you buy on the site, there is no tax. 10% if you go from an exchange. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Slime, there's two factions that you can come into here and you need to choose one. You need to choose either the order of the slime or the biopunk. If you're going with the two strategy method, you may want two account method. You may want one order of the slime and one biopunk. Your strategy, of course, will be up to you. I'll be going over much more of that later on. Each, in another video, each ooze deposit is tied to a unique NFT that is transferable and even sellable. Start multiple ooze deposits from the same wallet. Sell ooze deposits on NFT market place for a small suggested 5% royalty fee charged on the sale. Start ooze deposits for your family and friends and transfer to their wallets for a 1% transfer fee charged on your deposit. Build a large team under the modest deposit and sell for big profit to a larger investor. Pretty cool. I'll be one of those larger investors. I want to buy some team members. I'll buy a bunch of team members and a whole bunch of them. I'll just get a bunch of them and get as many of them benefiting as us as possible. The order of the slime. The order of the slime. So remember, you come in, you choose either the order of the slime or the biopunks. Here's the order of the slime. The order of the slime has formed monasteries in the sewers, <laughs> slyly recruiting new disciples topside. Their goal is to spread the benefits of knowledge of ooze to all. Manage your own investment. Choose 
manage your own investment, choosing when to compound and when to claim. Start your own monastery, recruiting disciples to join you who give you benefits through the taxes they pay on depositing and compounding. Choose your level of monastic benefits, automatic kickbacks on deposits and compounds that return to your disciples and set your monastery apart from others. I'm just going to max it all out, guys. Unlock rewards from your disciples through the contributing to the liquidity of ooze in the swamp, earning further rewards there. You know, it's all tied, lifts, with, lifts all boats. So if I just give it all back to you, you guys will just keep, you know, you may reinvest some of that. I'll get, you know, there'll be more kickbacks there. I'll give that back to you. And I just want to build as big of a team as I can and uh, get that stuff rolling ever since my uh, <laughs> number one investment where I built huge amounts of team, hundreds of people. Um, Hyperfund has crashed into the ground. So I'm looking for new avenues of fantastic um, opportunities and this is just one that just stood out way over the top over most anything. And it's just killer, right? I just love it. And so, you know, let's get us a team. Let's give back to the team and build this thing up. Biopunks is the other faction that you can join. That's like your passive, no touchy uh, type of um, <laughs> avenue. The biopunks are biohackers and believe that technology improves everything. They inject ooze into biomechanical implants in their bodies and have automated its production with sleek assembly lines hidden beneath the city. Auto ooze managers your auto auto ooze manages your wallet for you. Auto compounding and claiming at a frequency based on your long-term goals. Save on gas fees as all compounding is automated for you meaning they're paying your gas. Pay gas only whenever you withdraw your claimed amounts. Pretty cool. So you can have total automated like compounding, you know, strategies with the biopunks or do it all yourself in the order of slime and build a team. There's your two choices. If you're going to do a two team wallet, you know, two wallets, you might want one of each. Not a bad way to go. Those who all use ooze feel stronger, faster, stealthier and even a bit more confident. Every positive action in the ooze is rewarded with extra potential XP usable to upgrade your NFT's abilities. The Order of Slime has discovered that brewing the ooze and drinking it gives certain strange benefits to your body. And the biopunks add implant after implant augmenting their bodies. Earn by XP. Earn XP by, excuse me, buying and staking slime liquidity in the swamp, compounding your investment. Whenever you recruit a new disciple for your monastery or a disciple makes a new deposit, you'll earn some XP. Or the slime, whenever you airdrop one of your disciples, you'll also get XP. So I'm going to be getting all sorts of air XP because I'm just going to airdrop everything. So allocate XP to upgrade NFTs. And if I got to buy some, I'll buy some too. XP, allocate your earned XP to strength speed or stealth strength increase the total growth of your deposit from a base 8x to up to 12x delicious speed increase your daily roi from a base one percent up to two percent daily Ooh, need some of that speed man you know you don't want to do too much speed but it is nice to go faster stealth increases your automatic kickback from taxes to the system from a base 25 percent up to 75 percent even deeper underground, the source of the ooze has been discovered. A vast underground swamp taking care of this swamp is everyone's best interest. To qualify for team rewards in order, in the order, you must upgrade your NFT's charisma level by purchasing an increasing amount of slime. Um, slime is your LP token. All right, look, uh, slime is when you take the, the slime, you match it with... You put it in an LP with USDC. You need to hold a certain amount of that in order to reward, earn from your rewards people. So a lot like you see these other protocols where they take some third token from another thing that they want to prop up and they bring it into this new, you know, into their new ecosystem, their passive play ecosystem like uh, Drip with BR3P, HNW with uh, whatever the token that they have that does that. Those tokens have nothing to do with the, the system itself, right? I like it a lot better. And we see what it does for the price, right? The BR3P, BRP or whatever, that tank, that coin was in the trash and then it became the token you need for the, to, you know, in order to get all your downlines and all that. And the price, you know, miraculously has been up and stays up and it's all because of that. So if you could do, keep that within your own ecosystem, which is what you're doing here, instead of using some token from a platform that has nothing to do with this, some past failure or past project um, and bring it in here and making everyone purchase it, 
really we you want that to sustain the project that we're actually in right it makes a lot more sense and that's what they've done here you need to hold the liquidity pair in order to earn from your downlines and i think it makes a lot of sense because you're basically taking all the people who want to build and all the people want to make a team and saying hey you guys need to you know put in to the liquidity pool so that allowing everyone else to buy sell trade and all that and keeping that liquidity pool stronger and adding strength to the platform makes the most sense for having you know you know for what you should do for you know in order to qualify for these downlines like it makes the most sense it provides liquidity we're not providing liquidity to some other project and forcing us to hold tokens it's for this project helping prop up what we're doing right now all of your team builders have to help support the project by holding these lps you know it's basically like creating a symbian circle right and making everyone lock arms and hold hands and row the damn boat in the same direction you have no choice but to you can't row in the opposite direction you have to row in the right direction take it you know those type of things where it's like you need to you know do these positive actions a lot of that should be as much automated as possible so that people don't have the choice to do the wrong thing right so i like that they've done that this is you know the way that they've done the slime and all that it makes a lot of sense and it's a mad increase you know in <laughs> in intelligence right in brain power in brain size as opposed to using a a you know a token from a other thing and it is nice that they don't you know that it proves this those people in those platforms aren't you know letting their past projects die it does give you some side of relief for that but jumping into a brand new project or something like this that's going to be around this long something that's this solid and this cool uh, it's really nice that we're not propping up a third project right some other projects out there all the team members all the team builders have to prop up this project anyway i'll stop rambling on about that to qualify for team rewards in the order you must upgrade your nft's charisma level by purchasing and increasing amount of slime the lp tokens per reward level from the swamp contract creating a ooze usd L usdc liquidity which increases price stability for the project the amount of slime you need per level also scales proportional proportion proportional to the deposit amount ensuring that creating teams is cost effective even to those with small deposits and that those who stand to gain more in the system must also contribute more in addition while the lp tokens will rise in price with the rise in price of ooze token they will do so at a much slower rate than the token this incentivizes creating lp early and reinvesting in lp when the price of the token drops all deposits and withdrawals in the swamp incur a 10 percent tax Half of this tax goes to the dividends pool, paying 2% of its balance daily to all slow holders of the slime tokens. The other half of the tax goes to creating locked liquidity held permanently by the swap swamp contract. Beautiful. Users can also purchase slime liquidity for additional XP to upgrade their NFTs. Probably will have to do a little bit of that. Next, over here on the right-hand side, you have the required amounts of for each charisma level and what that means is basically the amount of lp that you need to get all these levels right you can go down to 15 levels deep for right now 2.515 um lp tokens not bad if that's the case that's not bad at all you know that's pretty um reasonable and a lot cheaper than you can get 15 levels on most platforms of uh of the like right ooze built for sustainability and long-term growth cap on deposit growth we limit the maximum growth of any deposit of between 8x and 12x this can be extended further by adding new deposits or by claiming and redepositing into the system paying tax that increases sustainability no skipped round robin turns our round robin rewards don't skip turns if a wallet is ineligible for rewards or if you pass the dev wallet then the full reward amount minus the tax kickback goes to the contract balance nice please pay at max payout per wallet we have max payout per wallet of fifty thousand ooze nft transfer tax ooze takes a further one percent tax on your deposit when transferring nfts that goes to the contract balance initial 
incentivizing users to add liquidity. We incentivize users to add ooze USDC liquidity in the swamp for team building rewards and to buy XP, raising the price for of the token in addition to each of these transactions since 5% of the value purchased to the locked liquidity. Cool. Additional whale tax. There is an additional whale tax charged on your available balance based on the formula available based on the formula available plus claimed versus the total supply of ooze. This tax is on top of the normal 10% tax and goes all to the contract balance. Please reference the chart to calculate your whale tax. Additional whale tax. If you're moving well in 1% of the supply, nothing. 1% more. 5% all the way up to moving 10% of the supply. It's going to cost you 50%. Good. Tax those whales. Nothing wrong with that. About the devs. So we got four different main out front devs here. As far as out front as they are. They're not docs, but they are KYC. They have docs to different YouTubers out there and to some different people. So, you know, their identities are able to be found. And um, if they disappear, then, you know, the KYC, the place that did that KYC will release their names and uh, we'll take them all to jail and all that good stuff. So... <laughs> Donnie. Donnie is a tec the technical designer of Ooze. He's in charge of how Ooze works, the mechanics, how you're rewarded for the investment, and how we best communicate and show all that to you on the website and the DAP. He's the author of this paper that you're reading and the white paper. Mickey. Mickey is a developer who works on our contract code. In addition, he produces all of our design work, artwork, and handles all of our KYC and audit work. Leo. Leo is the main contract developer and author of our most inventive innovations that make Ooze stand out from the rest. If there's a problem, he has a solution to it. And Raf develops our user experience and interface for Ooze, as well as handling all of our outreach and marketing. And the team is why I'm really here, is why I really like it. The different AMAs and talking to the team, all that good stuff and hearing them out and just the way they work together, all of it. That's kind of what made me finally uh, take the plunge and, uh, you know, go through with this, even though they are not doxxed to us personally. Um, I feel pretty good about the whole thing. And, uh, you know, that's a little something that you have to decide. None of this was financial advice and, uh, you know, make your own decisions in life. I got a lot more ooze content coming your way. This was just simply going over the light paper. And uh, I think we're in a great place. I think ooze is going to be a big major player in this passive income space. And I'm happy to be on board, happy to be building a team and uh, happy to have you involved. Catch you on the next one, guys. Crypto Music. I'm out.